From the sun.com, violent clash, huge brawl breaks out in Portland as Proud Boys in Antifa fight with baseball bats and pepper spray. I don't know how more clearly you broadcast that you're an idiot to the rest of the world than getting in a fight like this. It's so dumb. It's so dumb for both sides. Now, I'm covering this now because hopefully we're going to have someone from the Proud Boys on our show soon. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, interviewing Enrique, who's uh, pretty serious, apparently, with the leadership, thanks to our friend Ryan Ramsey in Florida. And I'm trying to, I'm pl- trying to play like devil's advocate for both sides. Um, like we want to, and, and, and for Antifa, I get like if your strategy is we're gonna is somehow based on we're gonna smash Starbucks windows. Okay, go out and smash Starbucks windows, or you know, d- d- torch cop cars, or you know, businesses that are promoting policies or donating to politicians you don't like. You're gonna do property damage. Okay, I totally disagree. I think it's wrong for a lot of reasons, but like, do that, do it well. How does getting into a street fight like this help you? And then, like, I think about the the, the right-wing side of this. So just getting into this story, shocking footage shows the right-wing militia wearing paramilitary gear attempting to engage Antifa members and anti-police protesters in combat as the groups fought with baseball bats and hurled objects in a plaza across from a federal building. And, and, you know, they're burning American flags. And then there's, like, there's a guy, a proud boy with a paintball gun. Like, do you, do you know how, how assault works? I mean, this isn't Gangs of New York where you can't just buy a gun or have video, video footage everywhere of, of everything like we do now. If you go and punch somebody in the street, and they shoot you, you're dead. And they're okay, because that's legitimate self-defense. I mean, I would hope they don't. I would hope they could pepper spray you or something. I mean, wouldn't that be funny, like, if if they actually escalated force appropriately, like, tactically, if either side did it in this fight, you would just end up with a giant cloud of pepper spray and everybody walking around coughing, holding their eyes. You know, they're fighting with bats and sticks and paintball guns i mean this is this is really really dumb for i mean for so many reasons officers also found shields and a bucket containing condoms filled with an unload unknown liquid substance staged near the park and diva ultimately won out over the proud boys who ended up retreating The militant left-wing group stayed in Terry Shrunk Plaza until Department of Homeland Security officers later moved in to disperse the crowd. And Ryan sent me the, uh, the, there's there's a similar incident in Kalamazoo, Michigan, where the Proud Boys put out a statement and, and, you know, trying to justify their actions in this fight. And I'm like, no. Again, trying to play, trying to play devil's advocate or or trying trying to play like defense attorney rather for, for the Proud Boys. Okay, so there's leftist thugs going out to destroy property and spread a message that you disagree with. So you're going to go out and defend yourselves from them. Well, even then, like, this isn't effective. Stand in front of the businesses they're attacking, and when they attack you, shoot one of them. Or maybe not. Hopefully you don't have to. But start to taser pepper spray and everybody walks away. Like, but no, you're not doing that. You know, you're just as bad as government saying you want one thing and, and acting in a way that clearly shows that's not what you want, except that I think these people aren't maybe as criminally minded as government. They're more emotional children. One video shows investigative journalist and iHeart Media podcast host Robert Evans confronting a conservative protester who attacked him with a baton. Portland has been rocked by. I mean, you come after me with with any anything physical. I'm not going to hesitate. I, I mean, I'm going to I'm going to pepper spray you. And if it gets ugly, we're both going to experience pepper spray. Like, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to chemically disable. Like, what is pepper spray? Like, let's just acknowledge the power of pepper spray for a second. There's a guy carry it on my keychain every time I go out. Like, I am you. You pose a physical threat. I am going to chemis- chemically disable you from seeing, from looking at stuff. Now, your your sight. I'm going to take your sight. I'm going to temporarily take your eyeballs away. Well, no, that was an option, but I thought it was cooler if I put on a helmet and shot him with a paintball and beat him with a stick. Oh, 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 oh I'm proud boy. <laughs> really? And I'm not saying that you're like, I mean, it's kind of responsive to Antifa, so I don't know, maybe they're worse, maybe you're worse. I don't know. But, you know, the the, the thing with the Proud Boys is, like, these are supposedly, like, mostly, like, a, adult men capable of getting par- paramilitary gear. Like, I see, there's a guy, there's a photo of a guy here, a right-wing protester wearing paramilitary gear and carrying a baseball bat during a brawl with Antifa protesters. Like, there's a reason you don't see police officers carrying baseball bats. You don't see U.S. soldiers carrying baseball bats. And if those two government examples weren't enough for you, you don't see private security guards carrying baseball bats. Black Lives Matter protesters have been caught throwing softball-sized rocks and glass bottles at police and brutally beat a man named Adam Hainer who was attempting to help a woman who was being robbed. The latest Portland skirmish comes one week after equally ugly scenes broke out in Kalamazoo, Michigan, a Proud Boy rally, Proud Boys, excuse me, rally uh, outside of the city's first congregational church descended into violence when they were met by members of Antifa. The Proud Boys, they not only have hatred for Jewish people and Muslim people, but they're also very hateful of anybody who doesn't look like them or act like them. Reverend Nathan Dannison, the church's pastor, told a local outlet, M Live. Southern Poverty Law Center is labeled the Proud Boys as a hate group for their racist ideology. Former Proud Boys member Jason Kessler was behind the Unite the Right rally where one extremist smoked through a crowd of Black Lives Matter protesters killing activists to their hire. The Charlottesville rally, which was attended by members of the KKK and other hate groups, was praised by Donald Trump, who infamously said, you had some very fine people on both sides. Yeah, that's the, the line that's going to haunt him forever on this one. Now, are the Proud Boys themselves racist? I don't know. I keep hearing they've got minority members, and there's this black guy in this one photo with them, and in their leadership, all this stuff. Okay, so they're not inherently racist. They've said, I think, Western chauvinist. It's a social thing that, that promotes Western civilization. Okay. Still doesn't change the fact that you're really freaking dumb for doing this. Like, you don't want to defend yourselves against Antifa. You want a street fight where people get hurt. Maimed. Seriously injured for stupid shit. Because even, like, coming out of a church, Proud Boys attacked by a gang of Antifa. If you really cared about just, like, pushing back a crowd, you just have, like, pepper spray guns and masks. Your guys put on masks. Antifa gets the pepper spray. Okay, some of them come with masks, tasers. And then if you have to, if someone comes with you with a mask repeatedly and is physically assaulting you and is not responding to pepper spray or a taser, okay, shoot them. But no, you don't do that because you don't care about that. You want you want to fight. And you want people to get hurt and you want attention. And it's, it's immature. Fucking knock it off. America's got to be better than this. 